Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you how to make a Mark II PBR. This is a small versatile naval vessel, perfect for PvP and build a boat for treasure. And I've just realized that it's been almost five years since my first video and I've not done a single boat tutorial. So why not do one now? Let's get to it. So in this video, you are going to need around 650 blocks of your choice, 130 poles of your choice, miscellaneous car parts, so you'll need to buy the car package inside the shop, and you're also going to need the screwdriver tool and the paintbrush and possibly the wrench. So just like always, the first thing you guys are going to have to do is place two poles just like this. These can be made out of any material, and using the same material or a different material, place a block on top of it. Then you're going to have to go to this side, place two blocks here, and then extend out each side just like this. And then place a block here, then a second one, so this area is one and a half blocks long instead of just a single block. Do this on both sides, and you're going to have to do this twice. That's looking good. And then extend it back by two blocks, then move back half a block and do it again. And then move out half a block and then extend it by 15 blocks on each side. Then move in half a block and then connect the back just like this. Then at the front you're going to have to place 3 blocks just like this. Place some more using these corners. And then don't worry about the gaps, we'll fill them in later. You're just going to have to make sure that you're doing this on both sides. And then move back four blocks, then move down and place five blocks just like this. And then go to the other side and do the exact same thing. And then move back up and extend it to the end. And then this pattern here is basically what we're going to have to keep repeating. So place five blocks here on each side. And then go back to the front and then fill in these gaps, placing blocks off of these ones. Then using this half of this block, you're going to have to place a couple more just like this to kind of give it more of a curved shape. That's looking good. And then fill in the gaps just like this. Then extend this all the way to the back. So we're just going to repeat what we just did, but on this layer. And don't worry about it being too tall, the boat itself is not going to be this tall. We just want to make a draft, which is a part of the boat that sits below the water, just to make it look a little bit nicer. And don't forget to fill in these gaps over here. Then on this layer, extend all the way to the back. And the good thing about this boat design is you can kind of use it with any other boat. You don't necessarily need to be making the one in this video. You can just add whatever you want to it. You can even make it a fishing boat. And then once you're done with that layer, chuck on a paint job. As you can see, I painted the bottom part red and the rest of it green. And using a screwdriver tool, you're going to have to select the entire waterline, the red area, and then make sure that you disable collision. You may also need to disable collision a second time once you have filled in this area. And then half a block down, right where I'm placing blocks, you're going to have to fill in this area, but make sure you leave a gap like this at the front. This is where we are going to mount our gun. So the gap doesn't necessarily need to be exactly where I am, but just try to make sure to leave this hole close to the front of the boat if you do wish to mount a gun there. And then once you're done with that, fill in these gaps. 
And then in the bottom, I'm going to add a wall here, just so it looks nicer. And give that a paint. And then finally, add a layer here, just so it's not too far down. Then using poles, you're going to have to rotate them like this and place them in these spots. Then change your rotation to 45 degrees and place them in the corners just like this. Once again, give it a paint. Place a seat here. Place two poles here. And then rotate and place a couple here. The gun does not need to look identical, but I did slow down the video anyway if you guys do wish to follow my design. And then using the minigun, you can place it here, make sure it's fully transparent, but don't disable the collision, otherwise you won't be able to click it. And then three blocks from the pole, and this will be the distance apart from the actual driver's area and the gunner area. So extend out the side so you've got this wide of an area, I believe it is five blocks long in total. And then place a block on a corner on each side, and then extend it so it is a total of six blocks long. Then move in half a block and make sure this spot here is three blocks long. And then you're going to have to build up by one block just around the walls. So make sure you do the entirety here. And then don't worry about this being too long. I'm going to make some adjustments later in the video. And then for this spot, you're going to have to break those three blocks and then move it down by half a block. Then place four more here. And then place a pole here, but make sure that it is inside of the block. And then you're going to have to repeat this on the corners here, so that there's a total of three at the front. And then moving to the back corners, you're going to have to place two on each side. Then you're going to have to place three sideways poles at the front, and then stack another three over here. Then go to the back corners and place one more on each side. And the roof itself isn't complicated, you're just going to have to extend the poles just so you can get a pointy roof. One that's not too pointy. If you want, you can pause the video here if you need time to build. I tried my best to make this video not include as many poles, because I've seen some of the comments uh, people are complaining about um, not having enough, and that's totally fine. And then once you've done the roof like that, you're going to have to go to the back and place three poles here. Using the same method as before, so you can add a fence railing. And then moving forward by a couple poles, you're going to have to place one down here. Or roughly in this area, it doesn't necessarily need to be too far ahead. Then finish the railing by placing poles on each side here. Next, I'm going to add some seats here. You don't necessarily need to, but I mean, if you have friends and you wish to carry them along, then you can build some here. Next, I'm going to build a second gun at the back. It's basically the exact same as the one at the front. And then I'm going to place a seat behind it. I'm just going to move these seats back by half a block, just so there's more room. Then once again, place another minigun, set transparency to 100%. And then go back to the front, place a pole here, so it sticks through the roof, and then place another six on top of it, just like this. Now at the back, you're going to have to break these blocks here, and give the boat itself a little bit of a shave. And then once you've broken these blocks here, at the back you're going to have to place two more, so they're sticking out by half a block. And then on the roof you're going to have to place a light bulb. And then place a driver's seat. You cannot use the pilot seat in this video, because they're two completely different seats. Next around the sides of it, just place a couple buttons here for decoration. I'm going to paint them black. And then place two more blocks up here. 
and that should really be it. I built myself a little flag and the way that we are going to power the boat is by using the wheels from the car kit. I just find that they're so much easier to control and I'm pretty sure that they can pull heavier objects. And then once you've done that, change the transparency to 100% on both of them and also change the wheel torque so it's at the green. Otherwise the boat will not be able to move. Break the poles that you place at the start of the video and you should be able to control it. Now if the boat isn't moving and it's also stuck in the air then you are going to have to launch the boat because it was anchored. But yeah that should be it. So if you really want you can control the guns if you bind it to the car seat. Otherwise you can have a friend sitting at the front and back using them. Anyway that's it for me. See you guys in the next video.